Would you please go first? Well, thank you, Chairman Issa and Ranking Member Cummings and members of the committee. We have been asked to appear before you today to discuss the management and operations of the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission. This year, 2011, has been an exceptionally challenging and productive year for the NRC. And as usual, the NRC staff has done an outstanding job over the past year, and the agency once again scored among the top tier of Federal agencies in the 2011 Best Places to Work in the Federal Government rankings, scoring number one in all four major indices. At the NRC, we anticipated that 2011 would be a busy but unexpected issues, most notably the Fukushima Daiichi accident and multiple natural disasters, including flooding in the Midwest in June, the earthquake on the East Coast in August, and other serious threats, such as hurricanes and tornadoes, created additional pressures for the staff at NRC's headquarters and regional offices. In spite of those challenges, the staff and the Commission remained focused on our critical safety mission. During the past fiscal year, we performed thousands of hours of inspections at nuclear power plants and materials sites, took hundreds of enforcement actions, reviewed more than 1,000 licensing actions and tasks, and issued a number of new regulations. And we completed a very important final safety, uh, final safety culture policy statement. The NRC has conducted a greater number of special inspections in the past year, 21 to date, than at any point in recent memory. During the past year, we completed the safety and environmental reviews of the first two new reactor combined license applications and held mandatory hearings on both of these applications. And these were both historic uh, actions by the Commission. We issued final safety evaluation reports for the AP1000 and ESBWR design certifications and issued eight reactor license renewals. We also successfully completed two pilot applications for transition to our new risk-informed, performance-based approach to fire protection. And we had a, held a meeting yesterday to talk about the progress that is being made on that issue. We issued three new uranium recovery licenses, authorized the restart of one uranium recovery facility, and issued the license for the Arriva Eagle Rock Centrifuge Enrichment Facility to be built in Idaho. We also completed the orderly closeout of our Yucca Mountain activities and preserved the technical work in three technical reports, more than 40 other reports, and in videotaped staff interviews. We have also approved cybersecurity plans for all nuclear power plants, published approximately 30 new guidance documents, and hosted the first in integrated regulatory review service mission to the United States. And that is an international peer review mission that is done under the auspices of the At International Atomic Energy Agency. Now, the Commission itself was also incredibly productive in 2011. My colleagues and I held 38 public Commission meetings, 10 closed meetings, and issued 92 staff requirements memoranda on substantive Commission voting matters. This was 30 more substantive Commission decisions than we completed in fiscal year 2010. And in line with our commitment to transparency and openness, we noticed more than 1,030 public meetings and improved and expanded our public outreach. Construction of our new third headquarters building is also on schedule and on budget for opening in late 2012. And of course, the NRC undertook tremendous efforts in response to the March 11th earthquake and tsunami in Japan and the nuclear emergency at Fukushima Daiichi. In addition to monitoring the crisis and providing on the ground support in Japan, the Commission established a task force to review the accident and make recommendations to the Commission for enhancing reactor safety. This task force reported back with a comprehensive set of 12 safety recommendations addressing a broad range of issues. These recommendations have on, undergone additional reviews by the NRC staff, our Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards, and we have benefited from the insights of a broad range of stakeholders. The Commission has directed the staff to begin immediately implementing partially or fully five of the safety recommendations from the task force and set goals of completing station blackout rulemaking within 24 to 30 months and has encouraged completion of all actions within five years. Chairman Issa, Ranking Member Cummings, and members of the committee, this concludes my formal testimony today, and I would be pleased to respond to any questions you may have. Thank you.